Okay, so in this video, I want to show you how to do FK uh, rig and control setup for our character. I'm going to show you how to do it for the arms and the fingers. So what I mean by FK is forward kinematics. So what that means is, uh, so in the previous rigging video, what I did, what we did IK, which is inverse kinematics, which means if you select the joint and you move it, uh, joints before it can move as well. Like in this case, if I move my wrist, it moves these guys as well. The difference with FK is that uh, that doesn't happen. If you move this joint, it's not going to move the rest. So basically, IK works backwards, where you select the last joint to move all the ones in between. In FK, you have to go one by one, basically. If you want to move the arm, for example, you're going to have to move this guy, this guy, and then that guy. So that's basically what it is, but I'll show you how to do it. So first I'm going to, I'm going to remove my IK. Uh, and by the way, there is a way to keep both, but in this case, I'm just going to delete it. So what I'll do is uh, under my, let's see, my shoulder, I'm going in the joints, I'm going to delete the... I'm going to delete that constraint so that it's still working and I'm going to delete this piece that says factor 3 I'm going to delete that okay so now it doesn't work so that should be good okay so now we can start to work with our FK and let's go ahead and start with the wrist since we already have it here so we're gonna use the same control um, so basically for FK what you want is you want your control to uh, the transformations of your control to be the same as the transformations of your joint so in this case you have you now we have the Y axis going up and the X down but if you click in our control the Y axis is going differently so it's going completely up uh, as in the world and then the X as well but we want that to match our joints and the reason because we want that is because if we you know start animating and moving our character then it's going to be more difficult uh, there's not going to be any continuity between this guy and that guy so that can that can, can cause uh, problems so to do that what we want to do is we want to create an empty group so press ctrl g and that creates this group and I'll basically give it the same name as the uh, wrist controller, but I'm going to name it a uh, group. So basically what we want to do is we want to move that group uh, and have that group be aligned with the joints. So let me disable my character here. So what I'll do is I'm going to click on the joint first for the wrist, then hold down control, click on the group. Go to constraint, parent constraint, uh, deselect maintain offset, click apply, close that, and as you can see now, our group shares the exact same orientation as our joint. But now what we want to do is I'm going to click on the group and then just delete that constraint. We still keep the uh, same orientations. And now basically what I want to do is I want to move my controller and move that guy inside that group. So, so let's do that. So there we go. So now our controller is inside and obviously it's still not lining up. But to make it line up, what you have to do is just go to modify freeze transformations. And now as you can see, it lines up perfectly uh, with the uh, joints. And as you can see, the... Uh, the group does have transformations, which as, as I mentioned in my last video, you never want your controls to have transformations. But this is the group, so the group can have transformations, but the controller cannot. So our controller is clean, but our group is uh, our group is uh, it's not clean. But that's perfectly fine. So now we have that, and you know if we want to make our controller uh, move the joint, you know what we have to do is. Uh, click on the controller, uh, shift click on the uh, 
joint go to parent constraint this time click on maintain offset now should be able to control the wrist but if you see we can't if we move this guy we no longer move the rest of the uh, arm uh, because this is FK this is forward kinematics so it works differently than uh, than the previous uh, IK setup so let's do the same for the elbow so let's create a new new uh, joint here now let me line it up and this is way to line it up is just to uh, have it selected and uh, no, control I'm sorry I mean select the joint then con shift select the controller constraint parent constraint deselect maintain offset that moves our joint into place what I can do is just scale this guy then just rotate it and what I'll do is I'm going to delete that trans the uh, constraint so there we go and let me duplicate it so we can have one for the uh, shoulder as well let's do the same thing hold down uh, click on the joint shift click on the uh, controller and constraint and I'll rotate this guy a little bit like that go to the and delete the constraint okay and now we're going to do exactly what we did with the wrist uh, create an empty group control G and let's name this elbow group so click on the joint hold down control on the group constraint parent constraint and make sure this is not selected apply that so as you can see now our group should be in place delete the constraint okay cool and now what we want to do is move our controller so let me name that here elbow control and move that into the group and what we do is we modify freeze transformations and that gives us the correct um, orientation for the uh, for the controller and our controller has zero transformations but our group does have transformations and and that's perfectly fine because we're not going to animate the group we're going to animate the uh, controller when you're doing animations so let's do the same with the elbow now I mean with the shoulder let me name it appropriately Oops. copy the name and just name the controller first uh, control G to create an empty group let me name this then click on the joint then the group then do a constraint parent apply there we have that and now we move well first we have to delete the uh, constraint and now we move our controller into that group and finally do a modify freeze transforms and now these guys line up perfectly with the joint and what we can do now is uh, apply a constraint from the uh, controller to the uh, joint but this time click on maintain offset apply as you can see now we can move this guy and then do the same with this guy click on the controller and then the uh, joint do a constraint so now this guy controls that and now we want to what we want to do is we want to uh, set this up correctly let's see so the wrist should go inside our elbow controller and then the uh, shoulders 
and then I mean the elbow controller should go inside the shoulder so that way when we move this guy the entire arm comes along and as you can see now so this is what we mean by FK is that you have to move the controllers at the source and so there we go I'm going to reset these guys okay so that's how we do FK and we obviously want to do the exact same thing with the fingers again um, I'll do it with one one of the fingers just so I don't, I don't bore you uh, it's just the exact same process basically let's create the joints first I mean the controllers first do a constraint parent constraint oh so I'm doing it wrong let's click on the joint first Click the joint first and then the controller now go to constraint parent constraint disable maintain offset apply let's kill this guy and then just rotate it wherever you want delete the uh, constraint from the, the controller I'll just duplicate it do the same thing here constraint parent Rotate it however you want. Scale that. Delete the constraint. Duplicate it. Then constrain this. Rotate it. Delete the constraint. So it's a lot of repetitive. Uh, it's a repetitive process, but it's uh, kind of hard to do it. And again, let's make sure we name this correctly. It's a controller. And now the next step is obviously create the empty groups. I'm going to create three empty groups here. Let me name the first one. Okay, then click the joint, and then that group, constraint, parent constraint, delete the constraint. Now what we do is we move our joint inside that group and freeze transformations on it. Do the second one, name it, then click on the joint and then the group, constraint, delete the constraint, then move the, uh, the joint in there, and then freeze transforms, and let's do the final one. Click the joint and the group, parent constraint, delete the constraint. I know I'm sorry I'm repeating everything here, but and then finally freeze transforms on the controller. So there we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna move the group inside. So I'm gonna move uh controller group 03 which is this guy inside the controller here and then group for this guy the group on that guy inside the first which is this guy okay so now click on the controller and then the uh, joint constraint parent constraint open the options box make sure maintain offset is on apply now this guy and that and same thing, parent constraint, 
Now this guy and this guy. Constraint, parent constraint. So as you can see now, we have that. We have our fingers. So there we go. It's pretty good. So there we go. So basically, you know, that's all we, all we have to do for fingers. Let me reset these. And if you want the fingers to follow the uh, wrist, all you have to do is uh, click on the uh, finger group, the one that has all these three guys, and get them inside the wrist. So let's find that. Inside the wrist controller. So drag that in there. Okay, so now when we move the wrist, the controllers come with it. Great. And basically you have to do the exact same thing with these guys. The exact same process. It's just uh, I'm not going to show it because, you know, I can only show you the same thing over and over. I'm just repeating myself, basically. So all you have to do is do the exact same thing once you've done what you have uh, these guys. Uh, move the group that has all the uh, controllers and groups and move them inside the uh, joint for the I mean inside the controller for the wrist so that they follow the wrist so I believe let's see okay so these guys are not following my my master here my chest Okay, so I'm going to move the entire shoulder, move that inside my chest controller. Okay, so that when we move the chest, the arms come with it. Okay, yeah, that works. And we also have another, uh, we have one more joint here, which is the clavicle. We should also, we should also make one for that. Uh, for let me undo here. Okay, so let's let's make that one just so that we com completely um, we complete the process here. Let's let's create a new controller. Click on the clavicle, and then the controller. Constraint parent disable maintain offset so that it moves our controller in place. And scale this guy. Okay, delete the constraint. Let me name it to this clavicle. This is our controller. And now we can create our empty group. Click the clavicle and then the empty group and then do a constraint. Delete the constraint. Let's name the group. move our controller inside that group freeze transforms on the controller and there we have it and now do a constraint between the controller and the joint parent constraint make sure maintain offset is on okay and finally we want to have our shoulder inside that group And finally, the entire clavicle inside the chest. Okay, great. So, excellent. So, so yeah, basically that's all you have to do. And do the exact same thing with the other side. And there you have an FK setup for um, animating your your character basically so if you like the video make sure you click the like button and subscribe uh, leave comments in the comment section below thank you